another rather dramatic dawn in the Pacific, just south of the equator. Well, my major job today is not the first reef line, but to run lines to in order to pull the genoa out because it's flogging a little bit. We're rolling like mad. And as we're doing that uh, on a very broad reach, uh, I really want to go almost dead downwind. And so I need to pull out the genoa over to the port side of the boat uh, in order to stabilize it. So that's my job of the day. I've got to run several lines and then I've got to maneuver the pole uh, despite the rolling and rocking around of the boat. So this is going to be a fun job. This is the downhaul line that I've got to change over from the starboard side to the port side. And now I've got to take it forward to the bow and put it on the other side, on the port side. Here's the after guy that I've just finished leading from the, following the red through out to the bow. quite clear from the video just how substantial the swell still is, um, so we're walking and rolling around quite a lot. It's going to be quite a difficult job this one, a difficult job that is to get the pole up. Well I came down below to get my coffee earlier and also I had a couple of radio scares that uh, were happening to at the same time, so um, chatted to a few people which is always nice, very sociable. And uh, now I have to go back up on deck to finish off getting that pole up. We're, we're going quite well at the moment, but we're not quite on the course I want to get on, which is more downwind, and that's when the pole becomes really, really useful. Uh, gives us a really good, stable configuration for the genoa to um, not keep collapsing and then coming filling with wind with a bang and uh, which is really not good for the sail. And now what I have to do actually is to furl in the genoa and get the sheet changed over. It's presently on the starboard side also um, I'm just going to change the sheet over so I know that I've got a good long one ready for the poling out. And so once I've done that, um, so the genoa will be furled in at that point in time. Then I've got to get the pole up and that will be quite difficult because of the roly foredeck. So I'll keep myself safe and stopping the, the pole from swinging about and crashing into the rigging is always a bit of a challenge. So it will take some time. It's, it always takes two or three hours to get the pole out altogether. Well, I'll just rerun the lead. So I'm about to feed the line through the uh, jammer here. So here we go, feeding the line through. A much better lead than it had uh, before. So the next job is getting this uh, Genoa sheet, this one here, off uh, from this side and moving it round to the other side. With that simple exercise of trying to take the, uh, the lazy sheet, as it's called, round to the other side ready, nearly turned into two mini disasters. Uh, first of all, I noticed that the Genoa halyard was really just not tensioned enough, so I had to pause what I was doing, having already taken the sheet round pretty well to the foredeck, and get the winch handle, uh, take in on the halyard, tension it more. So that's better, the uh, Genoa is looking a lot better at the luff. Uh, but in doing that, I uh, nearly lost well the uh, lazy sheet the sheet that i just taken over from the genoa went overboard and as i was finishing the winching the winch handle fell and that nearly went overboard so <laughs> a few little things to sort out there uh, i just saved the winch handle from going overboard and i managed to persuade the sheet to come back on board it kept catching on something but I did finally get it back up and now I've tied it off safely. I just finished furling in the Genoa, so it was a good thing I realised that I had to bring the second sheet all the way back here to the cockpit to be able to control both of them at the same time as I was furling in. So that's done and the Genoa is now nicely furled in and I just have to now swap those sheets over. And all of that was the easy bit. Now comes the bit that I was, uh, I'm really not looking forward to, which is uh, trying to get the pole out. Uh, lower the pole, connect it up, 
and then hoist it and uh, all on that really, really roly four deck. It, it's not easy. But I'm not looking forward to the uh, to this part. It's the uh, the action of the seas that's the problem. If it weren't, if we were in calm water, it would be a problem. But having to deal with the uh, a rather difficult pole lowering and hoisting and connecting up and uh, getting under control is um, always a, a bit of a challenge. Well, it's quarter past three and I've been working for well over an hour now at trying to get the pole hoisted and uh, the problem is it keeps twisting at the very top there's a kind of a hinge at the top and when it twists on that hinge it doesn't want to move and when I manage after a lot of trouble if I manage to get the pole straightened out as soon as I go to uh, hoist on the line it goes back again. <laughs> very, very, very frustrating. And uh, yes, so as I said, I've been at it for over one and a quarter hours in, on a very roly four deck, of course. I tried to tie the uh, pole off somewhere safely so that it wouldn't uh, move about too much, but that has its downside because then the pole is not free to move as it needs to. I mean, basically, there are two things that need to happen simultaneously, assuming the pole isn't uh, twisted off to one side, that is. And that is that the, um, the car that holds the mast end of the pole has to slide as you hoist on the end, uh, the topping lift on the other end of the pole to raise it. So theoretically, as you hoist on the end of the pole, the gate, the car rather, slides down and the whole thing ends up horizontal. So uh, just isn't happening because basically, well, A, the, uh, the car doesn't seem to want to move too easily, the end of the boom, and it's just twisted over to one side. So <laughs> I've decided to have a little rest and uh, we'll think about whether or not we're gonna bother with this. I knew this was gonna happen because it always does. That hinge at the top of the pole always gets turned, uh, twisted off to one side. And it's a hell of a job trying to straighten that out from the bottom end of the pole. So all in all, a pretty uh, wasted effort, but uh, we'll take a rest and see what we think to do next. Well, it's around dawn again, uh, this time on Monday, the 22nd of May. And I came up to see whether or not getting out the pole was an option. In fact, we don't want the pole at the moment. We're going perfectly well um, on a board reach without needing to have the pole out. So rather smooth, still rolling about quite a bit, not quite as much. And going at a very nice speed. Well, here we go uh, around sunrise and we're going to have another go at that pole, see whether we can get it up this time. A really lovely sail at the moment. This is true trade wind sailing. Gentle, a bit roly, downwind, and very, very pleasant, making reasonable speed despite not having that pole out. Pretty big still. Rocking this about quite a lot, but feeling relatively smooth. Go and there's the next one coming already. Two, three, four, five, six. It's pretty close, they're pretty close together. So, here the, we can see this the pole in its stowed position, pretty well vertical, uh, hinged at the top, and then held by its jaws in a, a, a metal um, item at the bottom. And that's what I'm having problems moving. I, unless I can move the uh, the, the pole uh, using the hinged top end, then I won't be able to raise it. And in order to do that, the hinge has to be not off to one side, but exactly down the centre of the boat. Well, we're having another go at the pole. And this is the uh, tool that I've had to use to raise the, to open up the jaw of the pole at the bottom end where it attaches to the deck because that was causing me a major problem uh, lifting it up and then getting the jaw uh, while it was open, getting the pole taken off the uh, metal piece that it was attached to to hold it in place. 
so we have actually finally moved the pole a little bit but now of course the uh, it has decided to hinge around completely the other way so I'm still uh, a bit stuck so what I've done is I've, I've got the pole fixed down on deck on a shroud tied it onto the shroud and now I'm going to try and push the top end or as near as I can get to the, uh, to the mast end of the pole to see if I can get it undone uh, to sit well to sit around so I, so I can move the pole because while it's while the hinge is right over to one side I cannot uh, raise the pole to a horizontal position it just will not happen we're getting somewhere that's good the pole completely um, twisted around to this side it should be looking forward at the top there but it's right over to port to, uh, so I can't move it and here I am at least I've got it out of the uh, jaws open and away from the holder and it has been lowered a little bit at that far end so now I'm going to go and try and push it around persuade it to look forward at the top end there and then if, once I can do that I should be able to get the pole uh, on deck going towards the bow and then I can attach the lines and raise it that's the general plan Finally, we're nearly there. Fantastic. Managed to get it down that much and now the last bit, just got to make sure that comes down on the car on the mast, uh, a little bit lower, and then I can attach the lines and raise it. Success at last, or nearly there anyway. The end is in sight. The uh, attachment points at the end of the uh, pole there. The red fleck is the uh, after guy controlling where the pole is. The uh, white line over the uh, over there is the actually the downhaul to the block down there. So that's done, and then the other the sheet on the genoa is also attached to the pole. So now what we have to do is to raise the pole and get it in place. So there we go. I found the. Uh, Genoa in most of the way and uh, that's good enough I think and I'll take it over now onto the pole. Here we've got the after guy and the, the sheet that I'm about to winch in on and uh, led forward of course to the pole itself. So here we are winching on the uh, Genoa sheet to pull it over to port from being on the starboard side. Uh, a little bit of effort but uh, over it comes quite easily. So there we go, job done pulled out and sailing under single reef main and full Genoa on the way to the Marquesas. We're hoping to get there this weekend, having a lovely sail in the meantime. I never fail to marvel at the beautiful deep blue colour of the sea when the sun shines like this. Trade wind sailing. So here's the mast end of the, of the pole that was causing me so much trouble and always causes so much trouble. Invariably it tries to hinge off to one side and then you cannot lower the car in order to raise the pole from the other end. It's always a bit of an effort getting the Genoa pulled out but it, it works in strong winds as well as in light winds and it's always so effective it's very stable the whole boat the whole motion of the boat feels good and you've got no flogging of the sail. Cap off a successful day at sunset. There was a lovely, thin, fine, present moon with Venus brightly shining above it.